games are in store now. It's time for Top That Trade. Joining us today, Phil Flynn, a Fox Business Network contributor, and Alan Nachman of Agora Financial. Hello, guys. In round number one, store no more. Shopping for everything has evolved. How can you make change from the change? The money for me is going to be looking at AT&T. AT&T shopping by phone has really stalled as far as the stock goes. It's been between 25 and 35 for almost a whole year. Uh, and it's got a P-E ratio of eight. So I think as a value play, I think uh, AT&T can come back to life. You know, you don't traditionally think about AT&T when it comes to the holiday season for gifts, right? You know, or waiting outside. And, it, you know, you look at the holiday season, you know, remember waiting in line to fight in for, the, you know, that Black Friday deal. And, and now you got to do it at home by yourself. It's not the same thing. You know what? But I'll tell you what, sometimes I, I want one store that I think that or what, what one company that I think is really reinventing themselves is Macy's, believe it or not. Macy's still pays a dividend. They've gone through some rough times. But they look like they're riding the ship a little bit. They're, they're having a bigger online presence. They're doing better there. Uh, and, and they've consolidated pretty good. So even if the stock is volatile a little bit during the holidays, it, it, over the long run, we look for that stock to do well. And we look for a pretty good dividend as well. So if it keeps paying a dividend, good stock to own. Adapt and thrive. That's it. Round number two, fashion is fickle. Do you think that suits will ever make a comeback? I guarantee you will like the way you look if you pick the correct apparel play with your trade. There have been a lot of suit stores that have been under a lot of pressure right now because people are not are staying working out of their house. I, for one, wear my suit every day, whether I'm working out of the house or to the office. <laughs> but, you know, what? suits have been a part of Americana since the beginning, right? You know, way back when, you know, when they signed the Declaration of Independence, they had those fancy outfits on. And they then also had wigs. Are you going to wear a wig, Phil? Are you going to wear a wig? Huh? Are you going to wear Are you going to wear a wig like they did? Things, yeah, things, why not? things change. How do you know I'm uh, not wearing one now? Come on. Well, look at like Brooks Brothers, gone. Uh, and then if you look at uh, Men's Warehouse, gone. So I think people are going to be looking not for that type of fashion. I think they're going to be looking more for like gear, things they can wear outside. Uh, people, I don't see us going back to the, the, the suit wearing days, to be honest with you. So I like Target. Yeah. That's where I get a lot of my clothes. And I like Nike because people got to get shoes and shoes wear out. I, I, I'm shocked to see that you buy your clothes at Target. I, I guess I never knew that. But I'll tell you what, you know, the, the future is, of course, we're doing a lot of things online and getting the perfect fit online. And there's more and more companies that are going to be using technology. So right now you can get fitted for a suit on your computer. So that's the way of the future. So maybe we won't have these retailers at the corner to try on the suits. Maybe they're going to come to you and fit it exactly to your specifications. Well, Phil, some of us call it Target. Round number three, gift gain. Donating a stock can be a win-win without giving any tax advice. Why do people gift shares? Well, it's, it's simple math. Um, you know, they're able to, from a tax perspective, you have to consult your individual attorney, but uh, you're, you're able to uh, defer or, or eliminate the capital gains. So it's, it's a great way for people, instead of cashing out the stock, paying the capital gains, and then donating the money, you can donate it and eliminate that step so everybody wins and you feel better. It, every, everybody does win on that type of thing for larger portfolios. And they have companies that actually now manage this, you know, for wealthy individuals where companies will come in and say, listen, we'll look at your portfolio. It, you know, we'll, it'll really help your tax situation if we donate so many shares to XYZ. They handle all the paperwork. They get it all done. So it's a lot easier. So if you're feeling in a festive move, just feel free to donate your shares of stocks. Uh, I think I think Alan will take them, but I, 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 I can't. But maybe Alan will. Well, send, send your shares to Scott Allen. We'll find a good place for them. We'll find a good place for it. Everybody would win. There you go. For today's bonus round question, you better shop around because it's a retailer ticker time. Are the following tickers true or false? R-O-S-T, B-U-R-L, C-R-I. Okay. True. Yeah, they're all, all true. true. They're all true. They're all Thank true. Thank you. True, true, true. The tickers are all true. Now for extra credit, can you match the stores of the ticker? C-R-I. Well, I got... Ross Stores is number one. Uh, number two, I think, is Value City. And then I don't know the last one. Well, thanks for keeping us laughing. This is First AM. We'll be right back.